welcome to the 2021 Jackard Cook-Off. So welcome back. Uh, I know that we've had quite the little break. The last cook-off was in 2017, but we're back again after the raging global pandemic. And this time we've got a little bit of a different format. So it's closed kitchen and all of our dishes are anonymous this time around. So the judges have no idea uh, whether it's Jimmy or Justin um, that they're voting for. And so yeah, let's kick things off. And let's go see Jimmy and Justin in the kitchen. How we doing folks? Okay. So we are just getting all of the meals ready. There'll be a little bit less. There's been a lot of prep that's been done so far. So uh, there'll be more time to mingle after and to enjoy the food. So they're working hard, getting everything done here. Uh, Justin's working on the crab, which is the appetizer. Then we've got a KD, um, meaning craft dinner. <laughs> Um, entree, and then we've got uh, beef tenderloin for a main. What are you getting ready here? This is uh, some uh, arborio rice for risotto. Is that for your uh, main dish? That's, That's for the be for the main dish. Yes. All right. Well, we'll let you guys get back to it. All right. All right. So up until now, all of the meals have entirely been kept a secret from each other. So. Uh, do you guys just want to share with each other what the main dish is, which the only criteria to follow was that it was going to be beef tenderloin, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what are you what are you boys making? I'll go first. Mine's pretty simple. It's going to be a tenderloin done in a pan, basted with like a thyme, garlic, butter, over a bed of mushroom, risotto, seasonal vegetables. Risotto. You figured I was coming out with risotto. I figured. I figured. You do make a good one. Okay. Okay, what about you, Uncle Justin? <clears throat> I'm doing a sous vide. A sous vide tenderloin. Um, then I will, f this will be medium rare, and I'll fry it for about a minute each side to get a crust on. Then I've made a gravy already with uh, a wine reduction. Mm. There it is. Maybe I could use a bit of that. I'll, maybe you could, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let you taste it. That's going to be good. Yeah. It'll be on, on a bed of mashed potatoes. I'll have onion, mushroom on top. I've got uh, some broccoli puree. Mm. That will be on the Perfect side. green. Mm -hmm. Colorful, right? Eh? Yeah. And uh, maybe an asparagus or two. Well, good luck. The yours sounds good, too. How are you folks feeling so far just finding out what each other are making? It's been entirely a secret up until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I need to do is I need to stick to my game plan. I gotta forget what Justin's doing. I just gotta focus. Um, Sound like a hockey player after, yeah, the, second, right. after the second <laughs> period. Second period there. I just gotta focus. I start clicking. Um, I mean, I went golfing this morning to clear my head. Nice. I've walked 10 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, I've been jobs. simmering stuff for three days, so. <laughs> Look at the log. All right, let's get to work. All right. What the hell? Let's pull pork. Bastard. On a slider. <laughs> On a slider? Yeah. With the crowd dinner in it? Oh, fuck. Fucker. <laughs> We're just well, we're just what. finding out what we're making, huh? It's entirely yeah. been a secret up until it's now. Be, it's gonna be tough to beat that. Okay, so my craft dinner is my craft dinner is gonna be like a jacked up mac and cheese craft dinner with other with a five year old Balderson cheese added with okay. the chorizo, yeah. baked in a ramekin. Okay. Three ramekins, one blue, one orange, and then one blue. Color <laughs> the color of the box. Okay. Very <laughs> um, With a like a panko butter crust on the top. Okay. So like a baked mac and cheese. Yeah. A chorizo. That sounds that sounds good. We're gonna be coming different angles from the crack dinner stand. Yeah. The pulled pork's gonna be coming. A pulled pork slider. slider. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure about the coleslaw yet. Coleslaw. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's good, yeah. Damn. Are you trying yeah. Justin's meals? Broccoli puree? Mm -hmm. With cream sour cream. Good. I love it. Where'd you get that? Bobby Flay? No. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have 10 cookbooks ever, nothing. 
This always happens. Always during these competitions. Oh, we kind of freak each other out. Yeah, by by trying each other's meals. Yeah. Damn. Do you think this is the best approach? He might be getting in your head here. Yeah, you can't let that happen. No, this maybe you have to go for another walk Focus along the shore. Focus life lessons. Focus eye, baby son. Focus eye. What are you making? This is um, your appetizer. Yeah, the first dish. Which the is first. crab. Snow crab. I'm making crab cakes with a chipotle mayo. Um, that's the mixture. Italian kind of parmesan bread crumbs. Should be fried golden. Looks great. Okay, little update for everyone. I am obviously in the car now on my way to town to uh, quickly go and pick up another bag of crab because as good old Uncle Justin was enjoying a cold one, Dad cut up all the crab thinking that that's what was his portion of it and started making his crab cakes for the appetizer um, when in reality it was supposed to be split in half and shared. So I am rushing to town to pick up another bag of crab. One of these men will be the death of me one day. Faux show. Sure. Stay tuned! Sorry. Okay, crisis number one averted. I'm going home. I'm back home. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've arrived. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We had a little mishap there. We had quite the mishap. We had two bags of crab, and uh, anyway, we shot, we shot them out. And he had started like five minutes before me, so I, I took my crab, I put it in his bowl, and I went outside. When I came back from my smoke, he was mixing all his so shit, he had... so he had all the fucking crab. So. You're welcome. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> All right, so disaster one has been averted because I ran to Sobeys to get more crab. Um, how are we doing mentally after that um, near disaster? I think Justin's a little frazzled. I ended up with all the crab. I got all my cakes done. He's behind the schedule now. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I helped shock half the crab, and then he just took it all. Yeah. Thank you for saving the day. No problem. Yeah, we're back on track, but... Uh, Another thing that's happened right now that's given me a little bit of an advantage is I'm using the same spoon to mix both chowders, or both uh, chilies, and I'm getting just in some of the smoky flavor to come into mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah. I better not have a piece of corn in mine. <laughs> I never thought of that. I see that you've worked on your presentation uh, this year around, huh? Yeah, I learned a couple of tricks. Did that you one. learn the tricks from Jimmy? No. no. I've been watching some stuff. What have you been watching? Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> okay, so Chef Ramsay's your less, inspo? Less swears in this swears in ah. this kitchen. But. All right, this is for your KD meal, Dad? Yeah. This is going to be prep. It's the jacked up craft dinner with some a Balderson cheese sauce with chorizo and tomato. Very good. All right, Dad. Uh, disaster number two is struck. One of the things he was presenting to the judges has fallen on the floor. <laughs> okay, Dad, you're going to need to go again. We've got a little time crunch here. You work well under pressure. Um, this is a mess. What's so, going on? I see what happened here. Yep. Uh, he, he brought his own, he brought his own frying pan from Ottawa. Yeah. And uh, he burnt his first three. <laughs> so now he's using my frying pan. Yep. And he's cooking the little ones, which were for the rest of the people yeah. that, are, that are starving. That's right. <laughs> and uh, this is a total fucking move of desperation, if anything. But, yeah, uh, and then one of them went on the floor. Did you witness that? I did, yeah. No, that, that, that's music to my ears. When that splat yeah. was the best sound I ever heard. But, right. Uh, he's, he's, he's 
Do you have any sympathy for your older brother? Oh, none, none. Not with the shit talk. You know, uh, unbolt my my golden ladle off my mantle. Comments like that? Yeah. He deserves whatever he gets. Okay. That's karma. That's he deserves crab cakes on the floor. Yeah. All right. Sure. Understood. Are you all right, Dad? Yeah. All right. We're just nearing the end of getting the, the appetizers ready. Uh, you're getting your crab balls ready. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm doing good. This, this should be this should be perfect. Okay. Folks, so we've got the first meal here. The second one is uh, coming right behind. So Whoa. this is the appetizer. This is the first appetizer. The only criteria for this was that they needed to use crab. So this first one is a crab cake with green and red peppers and some green onion. And there's a chipotle mayo sauce on the side. Um, the next appetizer will come in shortly in just a couple of minutes, but we'll give you uh, just a few minutes with this one. All right, so here is the second appetizer. Uh, this Thank is you, deep fried crab dip with that has been fried with panko and beer batter. The next dish that we're going to present to you was a, a bit of a challenge for the judges. So um, the criteria for this one was that they needed to use one box of craft dinner. <laughs> so they need to incorporate one box of craft dinner in the rest of this meal. Awesome! So keep that in mind, both of the uh, chefs, Jimmy and Justin, have cooked with one box of craft dinner, cool. and they've ramped both of them up. So we're going to present the first one to you now, and the second one will come in in about 15 minutes. That's great. Okay, okay here is the Thank first you. dish. So... Oh, the Here we have the baked craft dinner Mom. with a uh, chorizo um, sausage and tomato. We also have it um, with bolsters and cheese mixed it mixed with the craft dinner, and so it is baked with the panko on top. And there are also three ketchups that you can try with it. So there is the sriracha, a balsamic, and regular Whoa. ketchup, and so uh, those were homemade as well. So please enjoy. That's really neat. Okay, so here we are with um, craft dinner, pulled pork, sliders. So after you eat this one, you are welcome to start scoring them and then handing them in. I love the presentation. <laughs> Enjoy. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to get the chili ready here, guys. So we've, um, at this point, we've given the judges the appetizers and the KD dish, and we are now going to serve everyone our chili. Okay. How are we doing? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm feeling all right. Okay. Um, he, he says he thinks the sliders are, are good. I think he might have got me with the, the mac and cheese. Uh, it was a good choice. I don't know what the judges think. I never seen a, a facial expression no because you guys were in the kitchen the whole time yeah so uh it's gonna be a toss-up great And some it's radishes. Awesome. 
Okay, this is the last main entree that we're presenting to the judges. Jimmy's already been presented. How you doing? I'm doing good. Just basic. It should be uh, done in about one minute and uh, game on. He did this. He deserves the trophy. <laughs> This is a beef tenderloin once again. It has it is on mashed potatoes here and oh my it God. has a reduction of red wine gravy and also some mushrooms on the top with some asparagus and pureed uh, broccoli on the side. Well, we've been waiting for the third one for a long time and because of COVID and also uh, there was a couple of years where we were not here at the same time and it just so happened that it's been four years. And this will be the last wow. time, hopefully, that it'll be this long that we, this is supposed to be an annual thing. Next one will be in Ottawa. Um, I'll have my hometown judges. <laughs> um, so this is a this is a lot of fun. We said in the kitchen we said there's not that many brothers that can cook like we can, and I said yes, and we high five. True. In terms of who's going to win, I don't know, and I, I, I think that my my I, um, I like his food more than I like mine sometimes. <laughs> and him saying we look at what we do and. Um, so I'm happy either way. I'm just happy to be home, really, and to be with family. So, but I would like to take that home. It's, um, been, it's been four years. It's been four years. <laughs> if I don't take it home this time, um, I'm going to train harder, and I'll take it home next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've already lost. <laughs> I think I, I, we both did really good and it was nice to cook with you. Um, when I go back to Ottawa as defending champ, <laughs> I would rather uh, have three homeless people from Ottawa. <laughs> as judge. As judge. Because I, I know your family has a Mexican palate. Uh, <laughs> but uh, whoever wins tonight, uh, it was all good. It was all fun. And uh, yeah. I wish you the best. And whoever wins tonight deserves it. Yeah. It was all good. So everyone voted for the chili here oh. thing. And also, some one someone had the diamond chili. Someone had the circle chili. Would you like to know who was who this time? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the diamond one was Dad, and the circle was Uncle Justin. Oh. So yeah, I see by the points here that people like their chili smoked. So Uncle Justin. <laughs> But it was, hard, it was hardly anything. It was hardly anything. It was 5.5 and 4.5. So it was one point that went for the most. Yeah. That's fair. That was very fair. So that one almost didn't even have the greatest points here because it was so close. So for the appetizer, which was the point here. Which was the crab. Which would be taking it out already. So the crab. The crab appetizer was fairly, we got a couple more points that went for dad. So the crab appetizer, the crab cakes were Jimmy and the crab fried balls were Justin. And so the crab cakes were 28 points out of 30 and the crab balls were 26 points. That, that is the appetizer. So for the KD, I knew that was a bad idea. <laughs> 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 so the KD that was baked and with the different kinds of ketchup was Jimmy. 
and the KD sliders yeah, was pork. just in the pulled pork sliders. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so the KD sliders were 30 points. 30. And the thing with that was 25 points. So oh. So the main dish is what takes it this time again, this time around. So once again, it's out of 30 points. The main was the beef tenderloin. This one was with the risotto, and this one was with the potatoes and the, and the uh, mushroom and broccoli. So the main dish. <laughs> so the main dish for dad out of 30 was 26 points. And the main dish for Uncle Justin was 28.5. Oh! Since I'm defending champ, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a whiskey out of the ladle, okay. and it'll be another year before Jimmy, Jimmy can even look at this ladle. <laughs> mm. How do you feel about this, Doc? I'm going back to Ontario right now. As soon as, uh, as soon as I get in the car, we'll we'll just drive to Ottawa. <laughs>